Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. Welcome to my stop on the Not Too Shabby Furry Friends 2 Hop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create, and find out how you can enter to win. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. On the first of the month, Not Too Shabby released their latest box of the month, furry friends. This box is chock full of goodness. You get three 4x6 stamp sets, two 6x6 paper pads, and two packages of ephemera. On my desktop here are just a few pieces in each of the package. Now as of time of recording, there were a couple hands full left and I'm pretty sure it's going to go quick. So if you're interested in this box, make sure to check out my link in the description box below. Now if you select to receive them monthly, not only does it guarantee you get a box each month, but you also save an additional 5%. If you would like a close-up look at all of the contents of the kit, I will have Jamie's video where she shows everything linked in the description box below. And as you hop along today, you're going to see artists use lots of different pieces of the kit. Speaking of the other artists, this is part of a hop. Later on in the video, I'll tell you all of the specifics about how you can enter to win, but don't forget when you're done watching my video to use the hashtag in the title to see what everyone else has created. Now, as I get started with my process, I will tell you about other tools or products that I use, but if I do leave you with any questions, you can leave those in that comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. Let's get crafty! For my project today, I'm going to be making a mini slimline card and it's going to focus on the Cozy Forest Friend stamp set and the Fawns in Winter paper pad. As soon as I saw the cute little creatures in the Cozy Forest Friend stamp set, because the bottom of their bodies were cut off, I thought they would look super cute in photo frames. So that's what I'm going to do today. For my background pattern papers, I chose this tapestry one here from the kit. It kind of reminded me of wallpaper, and the perfect thing is on the back of it is a nice background for the back of each frame. I used some dies from my stash to create frames for this card. Off camera, I did go ahead and make the rectangle ones, which had a wood grain copy and then two pieces of white stacked together. I thought I would show you how I'm gonna do the one for the sentiment here on screen. Instead of having two frames, I did complete the full backer on this. That way, when they're adhered together, I will be able to put the piece that I stamped with the sentiment right in that opening and it will have something to be adhered to. Now I'm going to let this dry for about five minutes and while I do that let's go ahead and get the sentiment stamped. The sentiment I chose reads no winter is too cold when you have enough love. I thought it would go well since I'm going to put two animals on the front. Now because the magnet is too big to help hold the piece of cardstock in place, I did bring in my stick and stamp mat and placed it on there. And then I got my stamp set up and let me tell you this was a perfect fit. There was really not any wiggle room at all. Once it was in place, I did go ahead and remove those manufacturing oils with my fingers, inked it up with that navy ink, and I stamped it a couple times just so I would get a nice solid blue. Before moving on to the rest of my stamping, I did go ahead and add the sentiment to the center of the frame and set that aside so it could dry while I kept working. For my images, I decided to go with the bear and the deer from the stamp set, and I will be using Memento Rich Cocoa Ink and stamping onto a piece of Nina Solar White. Once I got my two images set up, 
I again I rubbed off those manufacturing oils I just find this helps when stamps are new and I inked them both up now I knew for these that I wanted a nice dark solid brown so I did ink this up and stamp it three times and I was really pleased with the result it helped me later for coloring but it wasn't I thought the brown ink went better than if I had used black with kind of like the earthy feel of the images and the rest of my card I'm going to show you a little bit of the coloring of the images. I use my Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers and I will list the individual colors in the description box below. Now while you watch me color a little bit, I thought it would be a great time to tell you all about the giveaway. As I mentioned before, my video is just one stop on the N2S Furry Friends 2 Hop and Giveaway. Now to be entered, what you'll need to do is use the hashtag in the title, which is also up on screen now, and visit all of the artists' video. While you're there, you'll want to watch the video, give it a thumbs up, leave them a comment, and then when you're all done, you will click on the raffle copter link in any of our description boxes to enter. The prize is a $25 gift certificate to Not Too Shabby, and you have until December 13th to enter to win, and the winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby channel. Now, while you're out there hopping, if you come upon a channel that you're not already subscribed to, while it's not required, I know that a subscribe or a follow would be greatly appreciated. I think you'll enjoy seeing what the Not Too Shabby Design Team creates outside of this hop as well. So, good luck and happy hopping! Once both of my images were colored, I used my brother's scan and cut to die cut those out. To help make my frames look more realistic and less like layered die cuts, I did bring in a brown marker and I went along all the edges. This way, instead of that bright white edge, it blends more into that wood grain paper on the front. To back my frames with the animals, I will be using the outside die cut from the frames for them and cutting two out of the back side of that piece of pattern paper. Now what I'm going to do is get these put together and I did have a helper. Um, she came in a few times here you'll see and finally I just gave up and went up to have dinner. But to get the, the animals in place, I added a little adhesive to the back bottom of the frame and then I made it look like my animal was popping up out of there. So you'll see the head is up above the frame. Then once they were in place, I added adhesive all the way around the back of that frame and put my pattern paper in place. I thought this was just a cute touch and it makes the animals and the pictures look more lifelike. While I took my dinner break, Aspen decided that my workspace was no longer the place to be and I came back down and started working. But unfortunately, I did not start my camera. So you'll see here I did do a little work. I added the pattern paper and my frames to the front. I added that scrap of pattern paper to the inside and then I put my personalized stamp on the back. The only thing I have left to do is to get my sentiment frame added and because it is going to be sitting up on those other frames, I added some foam tape down the center and across the bottom. And here are some close up looks at the finished card. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card, at least a majority of it. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget to hop along to the other artists on the hop and get entered into that giveaway. Good luck and until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you are interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, 
I do have some links in the description box below.